If you're only going to be there for two years, then I would say no, because you, you, it's hard to recapture that kind of money in only two years. Hello, I'm Ken Ferrier from Port City Property Exchange. We started this company about eight years ago to save people money on commissions in order to sell their home. Many people cannot afford to sell their home with a real estate agent with the commissions that were standard. With our company, people can start off with a commission rate of only 3% to sell their home. We have a variety of programs, including full service and seller assist programs. For 3%, we will actually take care of all of the advertising, promoting, negotiating, and organizing of the closing. The only difference is the seller shows their own home for 3% commission versus a high commission rate. So give us a call. Welcome to Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Some of the finest and funniest comedians in the country. Stop here first, and you can see them only at Rossi's, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Get ready for a half hour of highlights. It's Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Welcome to Rossi's, everybody. Woo! Big Wednesday night. Wednesday night, all right. The biggest bar night of the year. And you're coming out and enjoy some great comedy and a good rock and roll band. So I'm glad you came out here tonight. All right, you guys ready for our first comedian? I was a little bit slow going, so when you bring him up here, I want to make sure you're twice as loud as that, all right? Our first comedian, he's played clubs all over the country. He's from Ohio. Please welcome to the stage, Patrick Jenka. Yeah. Folks, over time for your MC. Keep it going for him. Come on. I'm actually from Orlando, but uh, same thing. Starts with a no. Okay, folks. I like a mixed crowd. I got jokes for everyone. Black people love it when I make fun of rednecks. Rednecks love it when I use the N-word. NASCAR. <laughs> I'm hauling ass getting here, folks. Oh my god. But I, had, I had to keep awake, too, man. Right before I got here, I brewed like eight cups of coffee. I didn't even drink them. I was still wired from the cocaine. I was just <laughs> freaking out. I'm wearing some cheap cologne tonight. Oh, yeah. A little pissed off. I brought the bottle home yesterday. It was half empty. Stay away from the brand tester. <laughs> just... Folks, I love God. Drink up now. You've had an hour, but. <laughs> Yeah, I'm drinking beer actually, this is uh, normal. That's normal, when I drink, I drink beer, wine. I never got into mixed drinks, I can't remember the names, I don't know what goes in them. All I know is I watch my buddies when I go to the bar, seems like all I have to do is yell at something sexual, you get a drink, right? I watch my friends, Bartley, let me get a red-headed slut, sex on the beach, slippery nipple. Last time I went to a bar, I just tried to make one up. I didn't get a drink, I got thrown out. I was like, bartender, let me get an altar boy on the rocks. <laughs> Whipped, not stirred. I, uh, something I said. This guy has no idea what's going on. He's staring at me like, I don't know, the Backstreet Boys did comedy? What's going on here? Apparently, you haven't heard their albums. Okay. So, we got some smokers in here. Smokers, yeah, all right. Yeah. Smokers, smoke them if you got them. Non smokers, secondhand smoke them if they got them. All right. So, I'm from Florida. They passed a law last year banning smoking everywhere restaurants, churches, hospitals. Yeah. <laughs> I personally, I don't care. I just think it's funny because a lot of restaurants are trying to find new ways to greet you at the door. Because you can't do it the way they used to. Good evening, sir. Which section would you prefer? Smoking or not smoking? So I'll come up with a good greeting for places like TGI Fridays. Good evening, sir. What kind of waiter would you prefer? Flaming or in denial? <laughs> hey, Lance, might want to change that name to TGI Fruities, pal. I'm pretty sure they support gay marriage. That's all I'm saying. I'll tell you which restaurant does it, Taco Bell. You guys see this new anti-gay slogan they're using, Think Outside the Bun? There's a, there's a reason why they sell tacos, okay? I'm in a great mood. I recently won a bodybuilding competition in Ethiopia. So, it was an easy win. It was between me and Paduke right here, so. Yeah, I had to get directions here from my dad, man. That's rough. I don't know how to get anywhere. I was asking for directions. He gives me a lot of street names I can't remember. Yeah. I asked him to get uh, directions. He always gets sarcastic about it. I was like, hey, Dad, how do you get to the club? All right, Patrick, you want to go east on Apple Avenue, then north on Sheridan Road? I'm like, whoa, Dad, Dad, can't remember this. Give me some landmarks. 
No problem. Going down Apple Avenue, got it? We'll take a left when you see a green sign that says Sheridan Avenue on it. <laughs> Next, Dad, here's a sign for you. People ask me for directions. I don't know how to get around. I came up to a red light this morning. Girl pulls up next to me, motions me to roll down my window. Who the hell still has rolled down windows? It's time to upgrade to the power window motion. But she was cute, so I gave her my number, told her to call me. I was like... Right. Not a typical comic, I don't do marijuana. I think he makes you stupid. I got a buddy that has a ton of marijuana. This guy smoked himself retarded, folks. He called up the 800 number on the back of a Cheetos bag, asked him where he could score some weed. I'm like, you idiot, that says refer all questions, not refer, all questions. Dumbass. Yeah. His favorite drug is ecstasy. He likes to go to raves, dance all night, pop X, wave on his glow sticks, right? We're going to Miami, Florida. I don't know if you guys have been to Miami. It's a crazy town. There's a lot of clubbing down there. Yeah. Now, I think it's wrong the police do that to the immigrants, but... Um, <laughs> we're down there. Who wants to do X? I don't do drugs, so he slips up my drink, folks. If you have an ecstasy, you're going to say some crap you're going to regret. Believe me. After I drink this concoction, I walk in the bathroom. There's a guy standing right in front of me wearing a sparkly hot pink shirt and parachute pants. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I had to say something. I was like, dude, pink? That is so queer. He goes, listen, number one, this isn't pink. This is salmon. And number two, you're talking to your reflection in the mirror, dumbass. So I was talking to myself, sir. That's like I'm doing right now. All right. Sorry, I had to see my flat ass. Sorry about that, folks. All right. You guys are a smart crowd. I like this. This is really cool. Because I was in Alabama a couple weeks ago, folks. Yikes. <laughs> they got signs on the side of the road say, buckle up and drive safe. Let's say, why don't you actually drive a metal safe down the road? It should say, drive safely. Apparently, adverbs have made their way to Alabama. I told that joke in Birmingham. This lady yells out from the third row, hey, at least we spelled it correct. <laughs> You're right, ma'am. Them done a well job. Question mark. So everybody from Alabama? What's going on? Whatever. So, I don't know what you guys are looking for. I'm sorry. I don't really do sexual jokes. I don't do sexual humor. It's, uh, I grew up with very prudish parents. That's why. We never talked about sex in my house. Taboo subject. I had to learn about sex by imitating the animals on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> so you can imagine, my first sexual experiences were kind of awkward, clumsy, unnatural. You know. But then when I had sex with a woman, it's... Uh, so I decided I'm done doing wild boar, monkeys, tigers, <laughs> and other stuffed animals. So I'm gonna <laughs> stick with women. <laughs> I had a rough year last year, man. I had a couple of grandparents die. Not only die, they died on holidays. Yeah, so I respect when I didn't celebrate those holidays anymore. I had a grandfather die on Valentine's Day. And even worse, my grandmother died of all days on April Fool's Day. <laughs> I'm just, sir. My dad called me up to tell me. I didn't even know whether to believe him. He goes, you know, Patrick, I don't know how to tell you this, but your, your grandmother suffered a heart attack today. It's like, yeah, right, Dad. I'm not going to fall for that one. Give me a prick. I just tried the same thing on Grandma 20 minutes ago when I thought her grandpa died. It's <laughs> all so rude about it, too. Just coughed and hung up. What a bitch. Tell you about myself, I'm part Irish and half Polish. Yeah, so I, yeah, so I get drunk on O'Doul's. So. <laughs> Fellow Pollock? You done? Buckle your seatbelt for this one, pal. No. <laughs> Is there a canary in the room? What's going on? <laughs> That's how it's done, folks. So.
Sorry, I only got 20 minutes, if you could just hurry it up. Yeah. I like diverse people, man. I love diversity. I was dating this girl from L.A. She was half Asian, half silicone. Pretty cool. There's a myth out there, right? The Polish guys are well-equipped. Yeah, I'm just telling you this, ladies. <laughs> Once you go Polish, yo wish you'd gone black. I got like a fourth of kill boss, so move along. Mom loves her heritage. I don't know if you guys know uh, the Polish flag. It's white with a red stripe across the bottom. One year for Christmas, she got me a whole bunch of underwear with the Polish flag printed on them. <laughs> these are hideous. I was like, Mom, why'd you give me these? She goes, Patrick, this way when I'm doing laundry, I know it's yours. Because your father's underwear is white with a brown stripe across the bottom. Yeah. Uh, thanks for Uganda. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My dad tried to get me into sports when I was a kid. I was a wasted effort. Polish people are not known for their sports skills. Nah. We're better known for walking to a bar with a Chinese guy, a Mexican, and a priest. <laughs> Having difficulty installing light bulbs, apparently. <laughs> I tried out for a soccer team, fourth grade, no idea what I was doing. Coach made us dribble two balls down the field to score. Yeah, I didn't kick the balls in the goal, I kicked the goalie in the balls. <laughs> That's when he began to dribble. All <laughs> well, the kids started laughing at me, called me a Polak. I just threw off my skates and shoulder pads, ran home crying. <laughs> I get in my room sobbing, my mom walks in. It's so rude, I yell at her. I was like, Mom, I hate you for making me born Polish. She goes, Patrick, it wasn't my intention for you to be born. <laughs> of course not, Mom, only a Polak, he's a plastic coat hanger. <laughs> oh. And aspirin is not a form of birth control. Taking this down the road, damn. <laughs> Did you go to the dentist today or something? <laughs> Christ almighty. Here's a street joke you guys can take home. This is a fun one. How do you circumcise a redneck? Kick a sister in the mouth. <laughs> all right, all right. Take back to your work at the convent, wherever you were. The other day I was watching Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Yeah. No, all right, listen, I had no intention of watching this show, okay? But, well, my boyfriend had the remote, so. Uh, folks, I'm kidding, I do not have cable. Yeah. I, uh, now I just broke up my girlfriend. We've been together four years. We're starting to get a little rocky. Yeah. In fact, I think she was trying to poison me. One day I was going through a medicine cabinet, found a bottle of Polish remover. <laughs> Polish remove. Made in Germany. Um. I guess I should have seen it coming. Her last name was Kilpatrick. I, uh, fate, I guess. Uh, yeah. Wow, you folks looking worried. Don't worry. She wouldn't have killed me. She wouldn't have Bryant. All right? <laughs> she was stupid, man. She thought my parents were losers because they still live at home with me. That's <laughs> all about Trying to do all kinds of things with dating. I tried speed dating the other night. I showed up to the girl's house naked. <laughs> Cut out four hours right there. It's perfect. Doing online dating. I never get good matches. Yeah. This girl emails me the other day. Tells me she's a great catch because she's accomplished a lot of goals in life. Yeah, according to her picture, losing 300 pounds wasn't one of them. Yeah, but I still went out with her. I mean, look at me, folks. Desperate times call for desperate measurements. So. They're cocky, man. This girl comes up to me after a show. She goes, hey, I didn't like those jokes you did about big women. As far as I'm concerned, you couldn't handle all this. I was like, what? I was like, honey, I doubt you've even ever been with a man. She goes, I'll have you know, I have five X's. I'm like, yeah, and your shirt tag. <laughs> Folks, I, uh, I just started learning the guitar. Uh, yeah, it's something new I've kind of added. I just started learning and I'll play for you what I've learned so far.
for the college chicks. If you would just follow a former little nice little neat pilot of panties right here by the stage, that'd be perfect. Yeah. I like musicals. My favorite has always been Mary Poppins. That is a great movie, isn't it? I love it. Kind of had a ruin for me, though. It was a very bad relationship with a girl with a similar name, Carrie Hopkins. <laughs> so whenever I watched the movie, it reminded me of her. She's one of these egotistical girls who acts like her shit doesn't stink. <laughs> Maybe not, but her breath did. Super callous, frigid bitch with nasty halitosis. When she opened up her mouth, the smell was quite atrocious. Even if she brushed and drank, scoping heavy doses. Super callous, frigid bitch with nasty halitosis. Alright folks, my name is Patrick Jack, have a great night. What's it? Come on people, one more time for Patrick Jenka! By the way, when the show gets done, please come up and say hi to him, let him know you appreciate the show. Hello, I'm Ken Ferrier from Port City Property. In today's market, there's a need for a different kind of real estate company. With the people losing their jobs in West Michigan, and the need for savings of their equity, people need to look at alternative ways to sell their home and maybe stay involved themselves. I've been selling real estate for almost 17 years. The last eight years I've been with Port City Property here and offering these alternative programs. Every year I do millions of dollars in sales and yet I save people thousands of dollars in commission. So give me a call. Alright, we do have comedy here every Wednesday, every Friday, and every Saturday. Uh, and of course on Wednesday nights we usually have the karaoke, so stick around for that. And then every Friday and Saturday we have different comedians also, and a uh, live band on both those nights. Okay, you ladies are in for a real treat. He's a former kickboxing champion and was recently named by Ebony Magazine as one of the sexiest men alive. Please put your hands together for Wynn Rickard. Get him out for him, people.